What's up, guys? This is like the fifth time I'm recording this. So some of you guys reached out for some help. Love to help you um, figure out how to use this crazy little tool that I made. Basically, at the end of the day, this tool is perfect for people that are trying to build a fresh list that want to kind of build all of their own mods, um, but they're trying to work within Mod Organizer 2, and they can't do things as quickly as they'd like. It cuts down on a shit ton of clicking, um, just kind of going in individually grabbing pages. So what we're going to want to do is come into here, get the manual download. I've already done this. So you're going to come into where you downloaded it, and you're going to grab this Python file, this .py file, and you're going to copy it, right? Then you're going to go and you're going to find wherever you've got your Mod Organizer 2 plugins folder. So the plugins folder that you're looking for is this. This is all the other basic plugins that come in with Mod Organizer 2, like Grass Cache, Cache and other things. So you go into here, hit plugins, and hit paste. Now, if you can't find this, this is this kind of this hierarchy is always established from LavaJack. This is where I originally got this list. So I got this. This is like an NGVO list from Biggie Boss that he did through LavaJack. But the, the plugins folder is the one that you're looking for for Mod Organizer 2. The things that are, this is what's connected to those two. You paste this, this Python file into here and you restart Mod Organizer 2 from scratch. So you start it up and it will not show up if you don't restart it. So you have to make sure that you restart it. Um, then you come up here once it's restarted and you go to tools. And you're looking for download Nexus collection. This is the one that we want to do. Okay. This tool will open up a prompt. I already had a uh, URL in there from earlier, but this will open up a prompt and it'll ask you for the URL you want to download. So I picked one, something, uh, something sexy, right? Um, just as an example. So don't grab, a lot of times with it, I'm working on Google Chrome, it'll like abbreviate this shit. You want to make sure that you're getting the full link. HTTPS, and make sure that there's no slash at the end, it just ends with whatever collection it is. Right, those are, that's my tip. And then you come back to Mod Organizer 2 and you hit this, put this into the box. And if you've done this correctly, it'll show you the revision number. So this mod author has made 36 revisions. Just grab the latest one, whatever the latest one is. Oh, also pro tip before we move forward. Make sure that when you're doing a grabbing a list that it matches the version of Skyrim that you're playing on. Because otherwise you're gonna download a shit ton of mods that aren't necessarily tagged for your version of the game. You don't want to do that. So make sure that you come in here, you grab the right version, you grab whatever one you want, then you hit next. Okay, I, right, as of right now, I can only figure out how to get the essential mods to work. I can't get optional or external or bundled to work. It's just essential, but this shit, this cuts down, like on JK Skyrim, if you want to do all of JK Skyrim, it's like 60 mods, right? This will get 50 of them, right? And you can just very quickly install them all and figure that out. So it's a super easy way to do this. So you hit download, and then as fast as your internet connection and premium allows, it dumps all this stuff into Mod Organizer 2. Then the next step for you is going to end up being going through and manually installing all these. All right. Now, the best thing to do is just kind of refer back to the collection list for the order because, you know, they're not going to have... Um, they're not going to come out in the right order, as far as I can tell. But, um, you know, just make sure that you're going through. And then reading. You know, you got to read. Like, so um, this, this is like a, kind of a pseudo step between, um, you know, Lava Jack and, and whatever. Basically, right now, I'm trying to bridge a gap between Model Organizer 2 and Nexus in a meaningful way. And I also want to do the reverse. So I want to try and figure out a way where if you have a shit ton of downloads and you can just check them all off, and then push it all to Nexus as a collection. So trying to figure that out. Don't know if I can do it or not. We'll see. But hopefully this helped. Let me know uh, what other comments you guys have. Um, you know, I appreciate it. See ya.